All right, so I did a video not too long ago, a real quick short video, just talking about a couple things that I really enjoyed about Go High Level. So in this video, I want to give a little bit more detail, actually get into Go High Level and kind of talk about what is Go High Level used for. And again, I'll reiterate whether Go High Level is worth it or not, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features and things that I think that most business owners, especially if you own an agency, um, are really gonna benefit from, from Go High Level. So with that, let's go ahead and dig in. All right, so what we're looking at here is a the kind of the main dashboard to go high level. Now I will go ahead and tell you, this is essentially a white labeled version of it that me and my business partner put together. It is built on the go high level platform. So it is customized a little bit different than what you would see in the normal regular go high level, but it is go high level. Okay, I just wanted to put that out there because it may look a little different for those of you that have go high level um, or those of you that eventually get it. So go high level, you know, what is it used for? What is Go High Level? You know, again, in the last video I referenced, I, and I'll put that video down in the description, is it's like the Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife of business tools, if you will. Um, it has a bunch of different features, but let me just highlight some of the most important ones that I feel for myself as a business owner, especially one that runs a marketing agency, that, uh, you know, marketing agency that essentially I work with small businesses, to help them get more customers, leads, customers, sales. Um, and I have different tools that help me do that. And Go High Level is just one of those tools. So let me talk about the reasons why I use Go High Level. So first and foremost, Go High Level is a, it's essentially a CRM software, a customer relationship management, meaning I can put contacts in here. I can put leads, I can put customers and I can group them. I can categorize them. I can engage them through communication, uh, emails, text, voicemails. Um, I can also, um, use different features of Go High Level to enhance my ability to provide services. For example, there's a website builder in here so I can build websites, I can build funnels, and, and all sorts of things to help me serve my clients. So now let me break that down more specifically. In the last video, one of the things that I highlighted that I felt was probably one of my favorite things about Go High Level is the fact that I can build funnels. Now, really quick, I put, a, put together a very <laughs> rudimentary what a funnel is for those of you that are kind of new to that. Um, so apologize my awesome drawing skills here. But a funnel is essentially this whole thing that you're seeing on the screen, right? So in this example, I potentially have taken an ad, right? So let's just say I'm, I'm working with a gym, right? A local gym and they wanna get more gym members, okay? So I can take an ad and in this example, maybe I put this ad out on Facebook. I could also put this ad on Google, whatever. I have an ad out there in the world on the internet. What would happen is in terms of looking at what a funnel looks like is someone sees this ad who maybe is interested in claiming the offer. Maybe it's a discount on a membership. They would click this ad and in this example, they're gonna to go to a landing page, right? Landing page is just simply a website that exists on the internet that people land on after they click an ad. And on this landing page, it's information, more information about the offer. And more importantly, there's in this case, a form on the landing page. It's a way for me to, co to, to collect the contact information of someone who is interested in my client's offer, in my gym client's offer, okay? So I need to get their contact information. That form collects that information. Once they fill out the form and hit the submit button, they land on essentially a thank you page, okay? So it's just another page on the internet, another kind of website page that's tied to this one that they just land on and says, hey, thank you, your information's being submitted, uh, been submitted, someone's gonna reach out to you shortly to you know, fill you in about the offer. Something like that. I could also put a calendar link on here, not to get very detailed on funnels, I may talk about that in a different video, but in the end, that's one part of the funnel. Now, second part of it is what happens kind of behind the scenes. Once they fill out the information, the, the person sees the thank you page, but their information, their typically their name, email, phone number, is gonna go into, in this case, go high level, the CRM, right? So their information is now in there, and I will potentially put them into a email list, um, a list where I can send them, engage them with emails, and that's all part of the funnel, okay? So we're gonna look at that um, a little bit closer here, these different parts um, in Go High Level here. So first and foremost, let's look at the funnel part. Like where would I even build those pages on the website? So that's where the sites 
um, comes in here. You can see here it's it's labeled funnels and there's all kinds of settings and stuff. And by the way, go high level, you can go down a rabbit hole, but I'm just gonna talk in this video about a few of the features um, that to me stand out the most amongst others. Um, and then other videos, I'll get into other details. But so in this case here, um, you can see that um, I have different funnels that I've already set up, but in your case, when you just get a new account, you might not have anything in here, okay? So let's just look at some stuff that I've put together. So let's just see, here's a gym one. I'm not sure if I've done anything with this or not. Yeah, so here's a gym. So here's a gym funnel. Let me just open this up in a new page. So in this case, this would be, here we go. This is, this is um, just a sample page that I threw in here. Uh, I actually copied it from someone else, um, not one I use, but it's just to show you that potentially this is a page that someone would land on after they click on the ad, okay? And so you can see that, it looks really cool, and you can build all kinds of cool things here. You can see videos, you can see images, and all this other stuff, and it's really as simple as coming in and just editing the page and kind of doing whatever you want with it. So in this case, um, you know, you can see here this little orange square this is essentially um, allows me, so this orange, specific orange square is text. So I can say, you know, it's the worst gem, right? Um, I can update the text. I can change, in this case, this is an image. I can change out the image, change out the logo. In this case, here is a video. Um, I can replace out and put another video. I can add another elements, right? If I wanna put a button down here, it says, hey, sign up or put a form, I can do all that using Go High Level, I can really easy without any experience of being a web designer, getting into code and all this other stuff, I can just drag and drop. If I want this uh, text, I want it to be just above this, right? I can just put it down here, right? I, I, I can just drag, right? So bottom line is the simplicity that Go High Level allows me to do for customization of essentially websites that I can use for multiple purposes. In the case that I use them for is for uh, running Facebook ads and Google ads to have a page where the leads can come to, get more information about the offer, and then ultimately fill out a form um, and so I can collect their information. So this is just, you know, so th in this case we have a landing page. And again, you can see on the left here, there's all kinds of customization and all kinds of, um, uh, options for every little thing that I click on, whether it's text, I can change the color of the text, I can change the size, I can change the font, I can change the padding, I can change the, I can change the font on when people look at it on, a, on their desktop um, versus when they look at it on their phone, right? I can do all kinds of, and actually, like for example, I can look and design something very specific for what someone sees on their phone versus what they see on their desktop. So let me click out of this and we'll look at the, the, the thank you page. So as you can see here, this is, this is the home page. Uh, in this case, I have a, I have a, a privacy policy. Let me, let me go to a different uh, campaign or a different funnel. So in this case, I have an opt-in page. So in this case, I have a towing funnel. Um, so we have a towing uh, landing page here. Again, someone would see this ad, would see an ad on Google in this case, and they click that ad and they potentially land here. As you can see here, we have a form, so I can collect their name, phone number, email, that information's collected. Also, I have a phone number on here that I can put um, so that people can call um, and reach the reach my client, the towing company. And again, as you can see, it's very customizable. Everything I highlight here, every one of these little colored squares that lights up, this is something I can drag around, I can move around, I can change up, I can easily add new ones by hitting the plus. Um, so this is probably my favorite part of it, Go High Level. I can quickly, very quickly, have templates that I quickly modify to throw up a funnel for my clients to be able to run Facebook ads or Google ads for them. And time, time is money, right? So the less time I have to spend trying to figure out, right, how to design something, um, the better. And um, Go High Level makes that so easy. And here's the thank you page, just really quick. So you can see here, like this is an example of what might happen on the thank you page, okay? Now, to tie this in, right, to the next part that I wanted to highlight is, as I mentioned in my funnel uh, diagram here, that once they fill out the form, their contact information is collected, okay? And so what I do with that contact information is then potentially put them into an email list. Uh, I can potentially use it for other, for other reasons. So let's look really quick. So just, I can go to the contacts screen over here, uh, sorry, menu over here. 
and we can see contacts that have been collected. Now, these are all just sample contacts. Um, I am not, I'm not showing you an actual client because obviously I don't want to put uh, real people's information up here. Um, but as you can see here, these are all fake contacts, but this is essentially what would happen whenever they fill out the form. They would end up here. I'd have their name, I'd have their phone number, I'd have their email. And what's really cool, again, of this being a CRM type software, I can categorize them. I can say, hey, you know, this one, um, put them in this campaign, or this is someone that was a missed call. I can, I can actually tag them up and have them labeled a certain way. So I know that, hey, this one came from a form, or this one came for um, the towing campaign one versus towing campaign two. I, I have a lot of customization. That's kind of stuff I'll talk about maybe in another video. Um, and also I can have, um, because I have the contact information collected, they all go in here. I can create what's called a sales pipeline, right? So I can have anyone who's a prospect, I can have them in that column. Um, anyone who's you know done a certain action i can put them in the next column someone who's booked an appointment i can put them in this column and i can actually have all the contacts that i'm collecting i can set up these little pipelines and have them automatically added right so i know what stage a lead is right because in the end me a marketing agency i'm getting leads for my for my client but ultimately I want those leads to turn into customers for my client. And there's a journey that typically happens across all funnels um, for any niche, for any business, that someone starts off as a lead, then they potentially turn into what, a booked appointment maybe? And then after the appointment, maybe during the appointment they turn into a customer, right? And so there's different stages that someone takes, a journey that someone takes from the time they're a lead to the time they're a customer and I can capture that and organize it and clearly visually see it by by setting up go high level or by using go high level um, and, and the various functions that it has so in this instance got the site uh, the website the funnels essentially i captured the lead information and then uh, i as i see here i have a lot of customization i can do with that even in terms of organization but to, hi to highlight into the second big feature that I wanted to highlight in this video, which I talked about in the last video, was the workflows, which is essentially the automations, right? It's being able to take this lead information um, or you know a contact and put them into, in this case, maybe an email list, okay? Maybe it's a follow-up sequence so that it's an automated email or an automated text, right? I just put email here, but this can be, this can be SMS, Right? I can do voicemail drops. I have all that functionality here and go high level. So in this case, maybe I have um, maybe a gym automation that I set up that says, hey, when someone fills out that form, okay, add them to this workflow, to this automation. This is, a this is a sample of the automations that I was talking about. In this case, they'll get added to an email, okay? Actually, let's go to a different one. Let's see here. So let's just say they fill out the form. I can have it automatically set up. I can have this workflow automatically set up this automation so that the, 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 when someone fills out the form, they get added to this. And in this case, they would go into this workflow and get a text and an email right away. So in this case, I can say, hey, we're offering free personal training session. Um, you know, reply if you're interested. Okay, or here's where you know here's how to claim the offer, right? Nice call to action. So in this case, they get a text. So this would go out via text message. You can see right here SMS. And then what I set up here is an email that also goes out and says, "Hey, it's the same thing. It's the same thing I put in the text. We're just hitting them multiple ways." And that's one of the beauties, uh, beautiful things about Go High Level is when it comes to following up with leads. Um, following up with contacts. Most businesses are horrible about this. There's a there's kind of a rule of thumb that for every um, minute outside of five minutes that someone submits a form that you don't reach out to them, it, the, the odds just continue to increase exponentially that that, that person's gonna just disappear. Meaning if I'm working with a gym and I'm trying to get them new members to their gym and someone says, I'm interested, right? They click the ad, they get on the landing page, they fill out the form, once they fill out that form, if the gym or someone from the gym does not get a hold of them within five minutes, every minute after that, the chances are likely that this person is just going to go on about their day, 
forget that they even did this or potentially worse, even find some other gym because no one contacted them. So the beauty about Go High Level and these workflows is I can immediately, when someone fills out a form, I can put them immediately into this automation, into this sequence so that they right away get a text within that five minutes. They right away get an email within that five minutes so that I'm engaging them. And then what we're looking for is people to respond to either the email or the text, right? And so this is just an exa a sample of this um, because once they, once they respond, they're kind of locked in and engaged with my client now and they're less likely to go off somewhere else, okay? And so this is just an easy example of just one email, one text, but I can, I can add easily. Like see here, I can just click the plus sign and I can add another, another SMS. I can add another text to go out a day later. I can add another email to go out a day later, three days later. I can customize this and I can have three emails and maybe two texts over the course of a week or something to follow up with someone to potentially give that opportunity for them to respond and and connect them with my client. So again, we can take a lead that we pulled off the internet and turn that lead into a customer for my client, keeps my client happy, the gym's happy, and they're gonna keep paying me money for that. And so Go High Level just makes that happen so easy. It's so easy. So, you know, these are a couple of my favorite features. Um, the funnel builder under sites, uh, or, you know, the, 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 the funnels where I can build, again, any combination of of, of landing pages here. As you see here, I got a bunch of different niches that I've just been playing around with. Uh, I can easily throw these things up and I can duplicate one and just modify it for a different niche, for a different brand. So say I close another gym, I can just take the gym one that I already have and I can come over and just clone it. And then I can right away just change up the things for the new page that's that I already have that works. I can just now change it up for my new client Right, and it will take me minutes. Within 15 minutes, I can have a whole other funnel up and ready for my second client, and so on and so forth. And the same thing with my automations. Okay, for every one of these, I can simply clone. Uh, I can duplicate it, and then just change it up for the new client and connect it up. And then that way, every time I have a new business I'm working with, I can potentially quickly create a whole other account and take this information and throw it into the new account so that I'm up and running with my client number two because money, right? Speed is money, money is speed, right? So the faster I'm able to go through this, the faster I'm able to help my clients and the faster I'm able to um, move on to help additional clients as well. And so Go High Level makes all that possible. So I just, again, as I mentioned in the last video, I just, by highlighting these features, I'm just scratching the surface and even within these features, I didn't go into extreme detail. It's more of awareness to say, look, this is what Go High Level is used for. This is what I use Go High Level for. Um, Go High Level is completely worth it. It's worth the investment if you are a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur. And again, I run a marketing agency, right? So I get paid by local small businesses to help them get more customers, leads, customers, and sales. I use this tool, but I can use this as any type of business owner I can probably find a good reason to use Go High Level. So for most for most businesses, something like a Go High Level is going to be worth a worthwhile investment. So um, I hope you got some good insights here um, from this video. And in future videos, I'm gonna be digging into other features. I'm gonna dig into deeper details into the features I talked about in this video and uh, continue to educate you on the different opportunities that you have with Go High Level. All right, so if you enjoyed that video and you want more information, more resources on Go High Level, how to use that in your business, then me and my business partner have put together a free community. The link is below this video in the description that has all kinds of free resources for you. Tips and tricks, beginner's guides. We even have some pre-done Go High Level, what's called snapshots um, that you can essentially just kind of copy into your account and like we give you things that we've already built and use in our business. We have Facebook ad examples, we talk about coaching, and, and we even have a community of people. Uh, right now you can see here we have uh, over 3,500 members uh, going strong of just the, your ability to converse and communicate with other people that are using Go High Level in their business, interact with myself and my business partner and maybe some of our other coaches that are kind of in the grind so you can ask questions we can kind of provide some feedback and you know try to provide our own insights if that sounds cool again free resources 
just check it out in the description if you're interested and uh, we'll see you in there. All right, cheers.